When I was in PT school, the first semester was like, <laughs> do I still have nightmares about the first semester? I think so. <sighs> oh yeah. <laughs> So in this video, we're gonna talk about what to expect in the first semester of your PT school career, the academics, what to buy, and the social aspect, because that's gonna be super important. So let's get into it, Lego. What's up everyone? My name is Dr. Justin Lee, physical therapist. I'm the PT admission expert, and I help students get accepted into physical therapy school the first time. So the first thing that we're gonna talk about is academics. <sighs> Man, now this is something that obviously most people are most anxious about, because a doctorate of physical therapy program, yeah, like your undergrad level is here, doctorate program is here. I remember when I was in wrestling and I jumped from junior varsity to varsity, I lost a lot of my matches when I first started because the caliber of difficulty against these people were just like so much. And I had to learn and adjust and practice a ton and spend a lot of time to invest in my practice so that I could perform well. Same thing goes with undergrad to doctorate level of physical therapy. The learning curve is a lot and you're gonna have to put in the work and practice and invest a lot of time in your studying so that you can perform well in these classes, in your exams, your quizzes, your midterms and your finals. So let's talk about that here. First off, when you go into PT school, very likely you're gonna be given two main courses. These courses are gonna be anatomy, and it's gonna be some kind of fundamental biomechanics kinesiology class. Now these classes are like the very base of the pyramid, right? This is the most important foundation that you need and everything builds on top of that. If you do not do well in this, then you will not do well up top and everything will crumble and you will fail out of your class. No pressure. <laughs> so anatomy and biomechanics kinesiology, that's really important to become a physical therapist. Those are the things that you're going to need to know, the bread and butter, things you use every single day. Okay, so anatomy, what does that look like? Sure, you're gonna need to know all the muscles and all the origins, insertions, the functions, the innervations, all that stuff, but that's just the muscle. <laughs> Our human anatomy is consisted of so many different systems. So we have the muscular system, skeletal system, the nervous system, the lymphatic system, the endocrinologic system. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but y'all get the picture. There are different levels of our body, different systems of our body, and you're gonna need to know all of that. Yeah, you're gonna need to know the cardiac system, the pulmonary system, yeah, it goes up the vena cava and all of the flow of blood, but you're gonna need to know, okay, it goes out the aorta and turns into what artery? And then what artery? And then what artery? And then it turns into what vein? And what vein and what vein? You're gonna need to know all of that stuff for the entire body. <laughs> okay. So there's a lot of things that you're gonna to have to review. So it's definitely gonna feel like you're trying to drink from not a dripping faucet, not a running faucet, but a fire hose faucet. <laughs> All that information you're gonna to need to know. And it's gonna be a lot, way more than you've ever imagined. I'm not gonna downplay it. So what does life look like academically for you when you first start? You're gonna wake up, you're gonna have your breakfast, you're gonna go to class, then you're gonna study until you sleep. And then you're gonna wake up, you're gonna have breakfast, you're gonna go to class, then, yeah, you guessed it, you're gonna study all the way until you sleep every single day, every single weekend, week by week by week. Because guess what? Every single week, you have a quiz. Every single week, you're gonna have an exam. After a couple weeks, you're gonna have your midterm and then your final and that's it. You have to pass with a B or higher. If you do not get a B or higher, you will fail the class. And you may have one more shot to redeem yourself. And after that, you're toast. You're cut off. Okay, so 
yeah, I, I'm gonna put some pressure on you and expectations to know that this is what it's gonna be like. But you're gonna be a doctor, a physical therapist. You better know that information. This is your bread and butter, like I talked about. Now, something that really helped me, one big tool that has helped me get not only this first semester of PT school, but also the entire three years of PT school is this app called Physio U. Now, I talked about this in a previous in previous videos in the past, uh, but they have grown tremendously. And literally, all you need is this app. You don't need any books. You don't need to purchase anything. You just need this app and then the lecture slides that you have in school. That is all you need to be fully equipped to be academically successful in PT school. Now, PhysioU, you can find them physioyou.com. PhysioU is an amazing app. I am not an affiliate with them, but they have grown so much into having so many different applications in the whole physical therapy world. You have orthopedics, cardiopulmonary, PNF, patient education, pharmacology, special tests, range of motion, MMT, manual muscle testing. Oh, there's so many, so many on here. Right, and they're constantly growing. And right now, uh, I just looked at the website for three years, which is how long PT school is gonna be. You just pay 219 bucks, that's it. You buy a book, that's a couple hundred dollars. You get this for three years and access to all of this for 219 bucks. So what I recommend is definitely go to that website, physioyou.com, check it out, and you can even start learning today. You can see all the apps they have already and um, you know, start looking at them. And if that interests you, I definitely would recommend that. Okay, now that I've scared you enough, let's talk about what you need to buy to prepare for PT school in that first semester. Now, I talked about this in a previous video, so I'm gonna go through this list pretty quickly, uh, but some fundamental, some basic things that I definitely recommend that you buy, and some things that I would renew on, like a backpack, right? That's something that uh, I would definitely get something new of since you're a doctorate student at this point. Okay, so these are the things that I would buy. I for sure would recommend an iPad, bigger one versus the smaller one. Yeah, it's cheaper to get the smaller one, but this is literally the thing that you're gonna be looking at day and night every single day. It's worth it to have a bigger screen. I got the smaller one and I regretted it and it ruined my eyes because it was just so small and I was straining it. Um, so get the bigger iPad. Now, get the Apple Pencil. I think that's really important for you to take notes on, right? Um, yeah, you can get the stylus and do all these different cheaper options, but I really think the Apple Pencil works great with the iPad. It's super integrated well, and I definitely would recommend that. Um, get a keyboard. If you're someone who likes to type, get a keyboard so that you can take good notes, or if you want the Apple Pencil, then you're writing things in. But whether it's a pencil or a keyboard, you need something to take notes with. So one of those two or both, very critical. Next, protect your eyes, don't be like me, and not get blue light glasses. So I would recommend getting blue light glasses. Like I mentioned, you're gonna be looking at this iPad day and night, every single day, even late until the night. Your eyes will get tired and they will strain. I didn't realize that because I thought I was just so stressed from working through you know, the program and now my eyesight got significantly worse. Headaches all the time. Get the blue light glasses, it could be a little fashionable as well. Next, I'd invest in getting a backpack like I mentioned, get a new one, something where you can put your iPad in, maybe your lunch in, and your workout clothes, which I recommend next. Get some more workout clothes because you're gonna work out, you're gonna move around in PT school, that's what it's all about. When you're talking about like, you know, physically helping people and palpating things and structures, you're gonna be shirtless. You're gonna be in your shorts or your sweats and you're shirtless. Women, you're gonna be in your sports bra and tighter the fitting, the better. So get some new workout clothes for that. And of course, you're gonna be working out, hopefully. Um, if you followed me for some time now, you know I'm all about lifting weights and exercise. I'm a total believer of incorporating lifting weights, even as you're a student, even as a physical therapist. This should be a lifestyle thing, and you should incorporate exercising every single day, several times a week if you can, um, for the rest of your life, for sure. Okay, 
Uh, water bottle, definitely get a new water bottle. Uh, the water bottle you have is probably janky, old, disgusting, has probably mold in it. Um, get a 40 ounce bottle, flip up straw so you can suck on that while you are washing electric. Definitely important to stay hydrated. Coffee container, this was huge for me. Game changer. Coffee container, this means it has a lid on it because you're gonna be kind of sloshing around, that kind of stuff. Last thing you want is to hold a mug and has an open lid. Things fall, slip gets all of your stuff, stains it forever. Okay, and lastly, we talked about friends and your social life. First off, I just wanna say, it almost feels like high school again, but in college, when people are much more mature and grown. Now, when you're in PT school, you're gonna be in a cohort, meaning the amount of people, whether that's 20, 50, 70 people that you're with, if you're in person at least, you're gonna follow them and see them every single day for first year, second year, and third year. That means you have three years to really get to know somebody. Now, the last time you were consistently with people like that every single day was in high school. In college, you might have your best friend, but you gotta separate it, go to different classes. Maybe you see them at lunch or whatever, or your roommate, but not eight hours a day, right? Or longer. So. The people that you're with, make sure you're nice to them. Make sure you're not talking smack about them, right? Yeah, you're gonna meet some people where you're like, I don't really, you know, I kind of butt heads with them, but that's okay. We are grown ass adults here. Communicate, okay? Now, given that context of what that's gonna be like, when you go into PT school, your first semester, <laughs> you're gonna be so social, right? You're gonna be, it's like a, a cocktail hour. You're like saying hi to everybody, everybody's mingling. Yeah, you have your extroverts, you have your introverts, you have your, you have your uh, hybrid verts, right? But at the same time, you're trying to get to know everybody. And you're trying to see who is the pe who are the people, who are gonna be my people that I'm gonna hang with. And I remember when I was in PT school for the first semester, I wanted to be everybody's friend. <laughs> And I tried. I tried hard to put social life first, you know, make sure that uh, you know, I wasn't the odd one out, went to all the events and all those things, because everyone's gonna say, hey, let's grab a drink after this, let's go grab some food after this, and I wanted to be there. FOMO to the max, right? But um, some things that you gotta watch out for, one, you gotta make sure your academics are a priority first, right? And then number two, realistically, you're not gonna be everybody's friend. If you're everybody's friend, then you're gonna be left with nobody. So as you're kind of picking and choosing and figuring out who you're gonna be with, eventually people will kind of separate into their own little cliques. And honestly, that's just the natural way so socially that people just go, right? Everyone has cliques, everyone has people that they kind of uh, merge with, but it's okay. I wanna let you know, you might go into one clique or one group of friends at first, and then maybe after a semester or a term, you're like, eh, I'm not really vibing with them. And you can move to a different clip. You can be in class with a certain group of people. And then when you study, you can be with another group of people. That's very normal. I did that, right? When I was in class, I had my people that I focused with. And then when I was studying, I had people that I studied with. Because everyone has different styles, right? So social aspect of PT school, I wanted to talk about that because that's something that most people don't really say and talk about. And this is all very, very, very true. And if you watch this video and you get into PT school, you're gonna be like, Justin told me about this. And it's gonna happen right before your very eyes. So, hey guys, question for you. Was this video something that gave you a lot of insight into PT school? Are there some things that you've learned Physio you, is that something you're gonna invest in? I'd love to hear from you. Give me some feedback. Let me know in the comments below. But if not, I will see you in the next video. Have a great one, you guys.